Good day, little friends and storytime parents. Welcome to another storytime session with your friendly library tech, Miss Tiffany, at your MWR Community Library. Today, I picked some of my favorite books to read to you, so let's begin. But before we dive in, don't forget we are celebrating our 2020 annual summer reading program. So hop on over to your Google Play Store, your Apple Store, or your Windows Store, and you can download the Beanstack app where you can register your entire family, log your minutes, and activities for the summer. Or, if you prefer, hop on over to your laptop, computer, or tablet, and you can go to Guantanamo Bay, mwr.beanstack.org, forward slash reader365. The more you read, the more incentives you will earn. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Our first book is called Chicken Said Cluck, and this is by Judy Ann Grant. Here we go. I will grow a pumpkin, said Earl. I will grow two pumpkins, said Pearl. Chicken scratched the dirt. Shoo, said Earl. Shoo, shoo, said Pearl. Cluck, 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 said Chicken. Earl dug the garden. Pearl planted the seeds. Chicken scratched the dirt. Shoo, said Earl. Shoo, shoo, said Pearl. Cluck, 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 said Chicken. Earl watered the seeds. Pearl pulled the weeds. Chicken scratched the dirt. Shoo, said Earl. Shoo, shoo, said Pearl. Cluck, 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 said Chicken. Earl's pumpkin grew. Pearl's pumpkin grew. Chicken scratched the dirt. Shoo, said Earl. Shoo, shoo, said Pearl. Cluck, 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 said Chicken. Then one day, grasshoppers came. Jump in the garden. Nibble. Jump on the pumpkins. Nibble, nibble. Jump, jump, jump. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Shoo, said Earl. Shoo, shoo, said Pearl. The grasshopper stayed. Chicken said, cluck. One grasshopper jumped. Chicken said, cluck, cluck. Two grasshoppers jumped. Chicken said, cluck, cluck, cluck. Jump, jump, jump. Hooray, said Earl. Hooray, hooray, said Pearl. Cluck, cluck, cluck said chicken. Earl gave chicken one pumpkin. Pearl gave chicken two pumpkins. Chicken scratched the dirt. The end. All right, friends, let's read our next book. And this is Kiki and Jax, The Life-Changing Magic of Friendship. Here we go. This is one of our brand new books. Kiki and Jax were best friends, but they didn't always like doing things the same way. Jax enjoyed sorting, and Kiki enjoyed collecting. Kiki's collection of things grew and grew until she ran out of places to put them. So she packed her pine cones under the bed, stashed her nuts under the rug, and piled her clothes in the tub. When Jax came over, he asked, Do you want to play soccer? Sorry, replied Kiki. I lost my ball. So Jax went home. The next day, Jax asked, Do you want to go swimming? Sure. Let me get my swimming suit, said Kiki. Kiki searched her dresser her closet, and even her toy box, but she couldn't find it anywhere. So Jax went home. He missed Kiki, but things got in the way. Maybe Kiki forgot we're friends, thought Jax, so he made something special 
to remind her. He put it in a box to take to her the next day. Jax knocked and knocked and waited and waited. To Kiki, getting to the front door felt like running an obstacle course. Look, she's right here. And she says, I'll be right there. And she has to run around, around and around, through, under, over, and to the door. By the time Kiki reached the door, Jax was gone. But he left her a package. A friendship scrapbook, exclaimed Kiki. It filled her heart until she could hardly breathe. You're a very good friend. So she took a deep breath and ran to Jax's house. I missed you, Jax, said Kiki. Can we play here? Sure, said Jax. They pulled out their favorite games and costumes and looked at their friendship scrapbook together. After they were done playing, Jax put the games and costumes away. I wish we could play at my house too, said Kiki, but there's just no room. Yes, there is, said Jax. Let me show you. Jax was excited. Kiki was overwhelmed. There's so much to sort. Let's play piles. You make piles of similar items, then you can decide what to keep, said Jax. They made a pile for clothes, books, and toys. But how do I decide? It's simple. If it sparks joy in your heart, Jax said, keep it. And if it doesn't, thank it and let it go. Kiki and Jax sorted all of the items into boxes for keeping, donating, recycling, and throwing away. Kiki took her time with each and every item. This sparks so much joy. Jax taught Kiki how to fold her clothes and put them upright in her drawers. Now Kiki could find a place for things that mattered most, like her favorite books, extra bubbly bubble baths, and most important, room for her best friend, Jax. The... And what a great book on friendship. All right, friends, let's go ahead and read one last book. And this is Flash, The Little Fire Engine by Kim Calvert. This is another one of our brand new books. Here we go. Hose is ready, gear clipped. Ladder sturdy, engine tweaked. I'm Flash, the little red fire engine, ready for the day. Chief says I'm big enough now to help our town, and today is my very first day on the job. I rumble through the square to celebrate that people wave and smile. I beep a loud hello. No emergencies, all is well. But when I come back to the firehouse, Ring, ring, oh no, alert, alert. The firefighters whoosh down the pole. They slip on their gear. Wee-oo, wee-oo, honk, honk. I'm on my way, I'll save the day. A fire at the airport, I see the blaze plume as it roars like thunder. My friend Crash is an airport crash tender. Too big for you, little buddy, she says. Crash goes to work, spraying foam on the blaze. Now the fuel won't explode. The fire is out. The people are saved. I roll back to the station. Maybe next time I can help. Ring, ring, hurry, hurry, the firefighters call. Bring the axes, water in the tank. I'm on my way. I'll save the day. Wee-oo, wee-oo, honk, honk. Fire ahead, I see smoke billowing from a tall building. Too tall for you, little Flash. My friend Laddie says, he's a turntable ladder truck. Made to reach high places, he cranks his ladder all the way to the top. Smash goes the window. 
whoosh thunder is the water the fire is out the people are saved i drive back to the station i'll help next time ring ring warning warning the firefighters hurry got the chainsaw and the poles yes it's all stowed in my side compartment i'm on my way i'll save the day Wee -oo, wee -oo, honk honk the forest is on fire i better roll fast my engine thrums as i speed toward the blaze before I can reach the forest, I see Tank, the airplane firefighter, up high in the sky. He drops a blanket of flame retardant over the area. Then my friend Fizz, the foam, tender sprays the woods. The fire is out. The forest is saved. Too late, little Flash, Fizz says. But we'll need you next time. Maybe Fizz is wrong. No one seems to need me. Tire slows, engine throbs. Should I go back to the station? Cold wind picks up, flurries form, sleet plinks my windows. I shiver in the night, rolling slowly over the icy streets. Flash, where are you? The chief hollers over my speakers. I'm still on the other side of town, I explain. The bridge is blocked with snow, the chief says. We can't get through right now. There's a fire in the town square. Can you go? Could this be true? No time to lose. Yes, Chief, I say. I'm on my way. I'll save the day. Woo! Woo! Honk! Honk! Woo! Woo! Honk! Honk! I rush through the slippery snow to the town square. It's the animal shelter. Oh, no! My hoses spray, my axes crash, smoke billows, fire flickers out of the window. Can I help the animals? Can I help the people? I drizzle my foam and whoosh! My water tank erupts. The fire is out, the animals are rescued, workers are saved. I roll back to the station, dirty and tired, but when I arrive, there's a celebration! You save the day! Hooray for Little Flash! Then it's off to bed for me. Gear unhooked, hoses stored, chrome polish, lights out. I smile inside as my engine hums itself to sleep. I'm Flash, the Little Red Fire Engine, ready for the day. Thank you for sharing this special time with me. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.